Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today this video is about macOS Sequoia 15.2 RC update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and now let's begin. Apple today seeded the release candidate versions of upcoming macOS Sequoia 15.2 updates to developers and public beta testers two weeks after releasing the fourth beta. Release candidates represent the final version of beta software that's expected to see a public release should no notable bugs be found. To update your Mac to macOS Sequoia 15.2 RC, open System Settings, then go to the Software Update section, and then check for Updates. You can see the update is available for my device. This macOS Sequoia 15.2 RC update size is around 2 GB for my device. Click on Update Now and then agree to the SLA to begin the update on your device and enter the password when prompted. And as you can see, the device has been successfully updated to macOS Sequoia 15.2 RC, and the build number is 24C98. Now talking about the new features introduced in this build. This update introduces new features powered by Apple Intelligence, the personal intelligence system that unlocks powerful new ways to communicate, work, and express yourself, all while protecting your data with an extraordinary step forward for privacy in Al. New features include Image Playground, which lets you create delightful, fun images, chat GPT support integrated right into Siri and writing tools, and more. This release also includes enhancements to Photos and Safari, as well as other features, bug fixes, and security updates for your Mac. Regarding Apple Intelligence, Apple continues to add missing Apple Intelligence features to macOS 15.2 for Macs with M1 chips and newer. Talking about the Image Playground, Image Playground, a new app that lets you use concepts, descriptions, and people from your photo library to create fun, playful images in multiple styles. Swipe through previews and choose from as you add concepts to your playground. Choose from animation and illustration styles when creating your image. Create images and messages in freeform, as well as third-party apps. Images are synced in your Image Playground library across all your devices with iCloud. Regarding ChatGPT support, ChatGPT from OpenAL can be accessed right from Siri or Writing Tools. Compose in Writing Tools allows you to create something from scratch with ChatGPT. Siri can tap into ChatGPT when relevant to provide you an answer. A ChatGPT account is not required, and your requests will be anonymous and won't be used to train OpenAL's models. Sign in with ChatGPT to access your account benefits, and requests will be covered by OpenAL's data policies. Additional Apple Intelligence features Describe your change in writing tools allows you to suggest how you'd like something rewritten, for example as a poem. Regarding photos, Favorites album appears in the Utilities collection in addition to pinned collections. Recently viewed and recently shared album history can be cleared. Regarding Safari, new background images to customize your Safari start page. HTTPS Upgrade tries to use secure HTTPS on all websites, simplified import and export for history, bookmarks and passwords. This update also includes the following improvements and bug fixes. Share item location in Find My helps you locate and recover misplaced items by easily and securely sharing the location of an AirTag or Find My network accessory with trusted third parties, such as airlines. Natural language search in Apple Music and Apple TV app lets you describe what you're looking for using any combination of categories like genres, moods, actors, decades, and more. Favorite Categories in Podcasts allows you to choose your favorite categories and get relevant show recommendations that you can easily access in your library. Personalized Search Page in Podcasts highlights the most relevant categories and editorially curated collections tailored to you. Sudoku for News Puzzles provided in three difficulty levels and available for News Plus subscribers. Presenter Preview lets you choose what to share, an app or your whole screen, before you share it when connecting to an external display or using AirPlay. 
Pre-market price quotes in stocks lets you track NASDAQ and NYS tickers prior to market open. Weather in menu bar allows you to get current weather conditions from the menu bar on your Mac and click through to quickly access detailed forecasts. So, that was all the new things we're getting in this build. Now talking about the macOS Sequoia 15.2 RC release notes, the macOS 15.2 SDK provides support to develop apps for Mac computers running Sequoia 15.2 RC. The SDK comes bundled with Xcode 16.2, available from the Mac App Store. Regarding Accelerate Resolved Issues, an issue impacting the accuracy of some linear algebra operations, LARG. These functions have been restored to their 3.9.1 implementation. Regarding Activity Kit Resolved Issues, Fixed resolved an issue where iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs quit unexpectedly if Activity Kit is linked. Regarding authentication services resolved issues, fixed, iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs might quit unexpectedly if AS Authorization Controller Perform Autofill Assisted Requests is invoked. Regarding ChatGPT integration resolved issues, fixed, image and document Q&A requests to ChatGPT via Siri might fail if the query doesn't specify photo or document. Fixed. For devices with MDM profiles, users with anonymous restrictions are unable to sign out. Regarding kernel resolved issues, fixed. Resolved an issue where running Ruby with YJet enabled causes Mac with M4 chip to kernel panic. Regarding NS Writing Tools Coordinator resolved issues, fixed. NS Writing Tools Coordinator ignores the returned attributed string from Writing Tools Coordinator replace range in context, proposed text, reason, animation parameters, completion. Resolved an issue to properly name NS Writing Tools Coordinator related enums inside an NS Writing Tools Coordinator extension in Swift style, text update reason, state, text replacement reason, context scope, and text animation. Regarding its known issues, NS Writing Tools Coordinator only supports synchronous NS Writing Tools Coordinator delegate interfaces, expecting the completion handler to be invoked without escaping the delegate methods. The object does not support multiple NS Writing Tools Coordinator context elements and supports only the first element used. Also, it does not support dynamic decoration container view. The two optional NS Writing Tools Coordinator delegate methods for multiple container support are never called. Regarding SwiftUI new features for macOS apps linked against macOS 10.2 SDK, the on-scroll geometry change for of action modifier can be used with list to post geometry changes for the list owned scroll view. Regarding its resolved issues fixed, compiling in the Swift 6 language mode might cause an at entry error due to static property default value is not concurrency safe because non-sendable type. Resolved an issue to improve performance and CPU usage when scrolling scroll views and lists. Fixed, views won't accept dropped directories if utype.directory or utype.file URL are not in the list of accepted content types for drop. Regarding Screen Capture Kit new features, Screen Capture Kit is available for Catalyst applications. Developers must use the macOS 15.2 SDK or later. The system picking experience now surfaces additional metadata for user-selected content, including details on the display, application, and window. Regarding virtualization resolved issues. Fixed. Installation of macOS Sequoia 15.2 beta in VMs is not available. Fixed. Resolved an issue where macOS VM guest running macOS 13.3.1 or earlier fails to boot on a host Mac with M4 chip. Regarding widget kit, resolved issues fixed, iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs quit unexpectedly if Live Activities API in widget kit are linked. So that was all about this build. The rest of the build seems identical. If you want to know more, check out Apple's official documentation for macOS Sequoia 15.2 RC release notes. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.